Hi and welcome to day 7. We're going to be talking design. What I'd like to show you today, among other things, is some of the work that I was doing on Friday when I went to visit my client BetAdvisor. The first job that they asked me to do was to look at this specific landing page. So, a little bit about BetAdvisor. BetAdvisor is a service that lets members of the public sign up and receive sports betting tips on a range of sports that are provided by professional tipsters and analysts. So what you can do is you pay up to 100 euros and you sub subscribe to these tips which you get via SMS or text message or email and what you can then do is place your bets following the tips provided by these experts and generally come out on top. It seems like a very very clever service and it seems to work. So they've got this landing page which is where they drive their pay-per-click traffic and they said how could this landing page be improved? So I'd like to show you the existing page which is what you're looking at now and I'd then like to show you my redesign that I spent a little bit of time on on Friday. So when we look at this page the first thing we always say is what stands out? and it's it's pretty useful. The content is, is not bad. There's a, a main heading, which is the focal point, start to make profit with professional sports tipsters. Seven day free sports picks. That's pretty good, says what it does. Then we've got three bullet points but no, below. Choose between best sports tipsters, bet on their daily picks and see your bank growth. Then we've got a testimonial, which is social proof. And that's really, really useful. Testimonials are great because they give somebody else's perspective, which is different and more trustworthy than somebody saying something about themselves. If you can find somebody else who can back up their claims or give their own evidence, then it's a really, really good way to build trust. Then what we've got underneath is have a question, question mark, and links to email, phone, and watch a video. Following that, we've got the, the main call to action, which is register now for free sports picks. You put in your email password and there's a great big call to action button. And it's great to see a, a big button there because it makes it very, very clear what the page wants you to do. So how can we improve on this page? Well, the first thing that I started looking at really was to say what doesn't need to be there. And one of the first things that I thought was Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, these logos don't need to be on the page. And the reason is because it's stressing payment. Now there's no payment happening here. What they're saying is you get free seven days tips for free. So mentioning payment or giving the impression that payment will need to happen is not going to help people sign up. It's like, well, when I submit this form, am I then going to be required to pay something? It says free, but then they're talking PayPal and Visa and MasterCard. So there's scope for a bit of confusion there. And you don't want to make people start to think about paying when you're offering them something for free. So one thing that I would do is just get rid of that, get rid of those, those icons, and that will leave more focus available for the actual content. The other thing I thought was that have a question may not really help because it's giving people another option, another thing that they can do. It's like saying, well, let's have a conversation. If you email support at BetAdvisor, then we'll talk to you about you know, what, may, what may happen, rather than just having one door open in front of you. When you come to a page, if you want people to do one thing, then have one exit to the page. There's only one way that you, you can proceed, which is forwards, to sign up for the free picks. If you give people alternative exits, or say, well, maybe you might want to come back and do this later, then that's really generally only going to decrease the percentage of people that convert from that page. There's some of the language that I felt like I wanted to, to change as well. Um, number sports betting, number one sports betting advisory service is a little bit of a mouthful. Um, and then looking at the main heading, start to make profits with professional sports tipsters. It's okay but there's not really emotion in it. Saying you can start to make profit, which is a little bit weak compared to you can definitely make a profit. 
and seven day free sports picks is not bad um, but picks is not really a word that that's meaningful to me so I'm going to flip over and I'm going to show you my redesign okay so this is what I did in about an hour so I've got rid of the payment I've got rid of the questions and I've kept pretty much to the same layout and this landing page is going to be run I hope as a test to compare the conversion rates against the other one so what's changed well the the main heading has changed to you can beat the odds it's very dynamic language beat the odds and it's like yes you can beat the odds with our expert tipsters and then it's simply seven day free trial with the emphasis on free I've put that in caps I really want you to get the impression that as soon as you arrive it's free 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 if you see in the um, in the form on the right hand side there's free in caps again and then on the button at the bottom free again so it follows with it's so easy so I really want to give people the impression that a you can make a profit with this which is which is true generally people can make quite good money um, and that it's easy to do I don't want anyone to have the impression that there's anything complicated going on here so instead of the one two three I've just put the three things choose a top tipster quite dynamic bet on their daily picks and watch your money grow and then I've put little kind of hand-drawn arrows pointing from one to the next it's one two three and that's it the thing that I've really added here is this average yield because I looked at the statistics across all of their tipsters now some of these experts have had negative results over the last month and um, some of them have had very good results if you average all the good ones average ones and poor ones together they still get as if you if you were to bet on all of their recommendations you would still increase your money by 7.66 percent in that month which is fantastic um, I mean you can't get that from a bank in a year I've kept the testimonial I've also changed the image from the cartoon to a sports image and this is a picture of a footballer celebrating a goal and he's got his arms wide open and he's going whoa it's very very laddish it should appeal to the target market here they, they like sports so they they'll feel some kind of emotional connection with that image and it also reflects resonates quite well with the it's so easy it's possible it's like the expansive arms out so it's got it's got the sport in there it's got the emotion in there and then I've changed the main call to action form with another action word start your seven day free trial today exclamation mark just takes moments it's the instruction and then it's saying it's easy as well first thing your email so what I've suggested that they do is have the first field highlighted when you arrive on the form and also emphasize the your email in because it's in black and highlight the field and then deprioritize the next two fields because you don't need to fill those in until you've filled in the first one so what I'm trying to do is take some attention away from the second and third fields and have more attention on this is what you do right now just type in your email and then when you tap through to the next one that field will highlight make it easy and then finally I've got a button at the bottom and this button says yes in capitals sign me up for free expert picks so that's another command language but this is saying this is putting the the power in the hands of the visitor here yes sign me up so it's an instruction yes I want you to do that for me for free expert picks so it's another big button and I've added the little reflection just because it's cute so let's look at the original start to make profit choose between not very powerful dynamic language bet and then see your bank growth and then the call to action sign up for free sports picks sign up there's a little bit of a negative connotation there I'm signing up to something which means I'm giving my information away and plus the cartoon of the bloke in front of the telly he's got no eyes and he's, he's looking kind of bored compare that to the redesign big sports image yes sign me up seven day free trial it's so easy so I hope that you've got a few tips from from me here on what you can do with imagery with content 
and particularly with copywriting to help make any landing page more appealing, get that hook that gets people emotionally and really gets them to engage with the page.